brothers and sisters god bless you indeed it's always a, a pleasure and a delight to be able to bring a word of the lord to you such a wonderful family in christ hallelujah now um yesterday after this video the lord now remember um i'm being in everything i do i'm being led by the spirit as they say if when the mailman brings the mail and a person gets a letter they don't consult the mailman they consult the person who send the message by the mailman so the Lord has led me in this video again to do um, what the Lord is telling me is that there are persons who are living hand to mouth and the Holy Spirit said to me yesterday this is the first time I've heard the Lord spoke so tough the Holy Spirit said to me yesterday it finishes now The Lord said it's it's finished now or this hand to mouth this hand to mouth living this this barely having enough not having sufficient prosperity in the financial area now there are some people who when they hear prosperity they don't like that message and the Lord already made me aware of that <coughs> one of a few people who aren't really too keen on that message but this is what the Lord says this is his reply when we seek the Lord yes seek first the kingdom of God when we seek God he then gives us the answers to, uh, the, the, the solution to the problem when you seek God he gives you the solution so that's why sometimes when people are saying, oh, but this person is talking about a specific area all the time, the person's been seeking God and then God gave them the solution. So you see, when you really understand that strategy and you understand how it works, that's the whole reason you seek God. When you go into his presence and you seek first his kingdom, then the Holy Spirit will, <clears throat> because God is love and he sees and he knows your needs and everything, then he will tell you, look, I see this thing that, that, that you're going through. Here's the solution to it. That's what happens. He downloads information. He's constantly wanting to, uh, to, 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 to get us whole and prospering, even as our soul is prospering. Prosperity is a very big area, but this area today, again, is finances. Because God wants his children prosperous. There's some people who are saying, well, yes, we just praise the Lord. Can I tell you something? That is very powerful and that is the truth. And that is the first thing we should do. But in God's heart, he wants us to prosper financially also. It is one of his it is one of his top. He wants us to be prospering. <clears throat> because fin financial problems cause people to be distracted from him. Cause people to worry. Cause people to stress. Cause people to not be able to sleep properly. And God don't want that. So he wants to fix that area also, that their hearts can be focused on him. That's the love of our father. You know, so um, another thing the Lord was saying too is that, um, yes, you know, when you go into his presence and you seek him, then he gives you the solution. You know, <coughs> he downloads the solution. And this is how the Lord told me yesterday. He looks at it. You see, the truth is, it's not really about money as in money, but the Lord saw there's a thief, and the thief has stolen from his children their finances. And as far as God is concerned, the thief has to pay it back. So for some people who've worked all their life for everything that you have, and, and, and people don't agree with people going, you know, the Lord for prosperity, I'm sorry to say, but it's part of God's plan for our lives. If a person don't believe in it, it doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't mean that something's wrong with it. That's their opinion. So um, the Lord has put this on my heart 
really strong yesterday because he's seeing the things that people behind the screens these screens and their families and their bloodlines are going through and it's the lord said also this is the season for deliverance you know we're in the promised land but there's still some things that he's fine-tuning it doesn't mean we're that we're not there in the promised land he's just doing a little bit of you know tweaking and and, and um, breaking some things off you know so that we can enjoy the fullness of his blessing you know so um yes it's it's, it's been a thing that people you know oh yes you know oh yes just praise the lord more of you more of you yes that is good but god keeps his word whether we like it or not he said i will not break my covenant not alter the thing that's gone out of you know his lips he keeps his covenant and we are the blessing of abraham the bible said that abraham was rich in gold silver and cattle and a and all kinds of stuff. God keeps his covenant. Whether we like to hear it or not. God is God. <coughs> you know so. The Lord just pointed out. There's a few who. Don't quite agree with this. With these certain messages. But that's what the father said. To let you know. You know he he's more or less. He's the person in charge. So um, yes. Hallelujah. And amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father, I lift up your name. Father, I bless your name. Father, I praise your holy name. Lord Jesus, as we come this morning, Holy Spirit, we pray, Lord God, for your presence, Holy Spirit. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you will become more and more real to us, Lord. That we will fellowship and have companion with you daily, going in and coming out. Holy Spirit, you, the Son and the Father, are one. There is no separation, Holy Spirit. So we ask you to come now, Holy Spirit. Come now, Lord. Come now upon us, Holy Spirit, and fill us with your presence and teach us and counsel us, Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, we I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I bring Jerusalem before you right now, Father. I pray for their safety. I pray for their hearts for salvation and their safekeeping in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift the world before you and its leaders, and I pray your blessing over them, and I pray you will circumcise their hearts. That they might receive you and be led by your spirit and every decision decision made will be made in alignment with your word and led by your spirit in all things lord we pray we pray for the lost lord that each and every lost person might be saved might be saved because your word says it's not going to happen but we pray it might be father in jesus name So, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up your name, we bless and we praise your name. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you will fill my, my mouth with words this morning, Lord, as you have instructed me to do this, Lord. Here I am to carry out this message, as you have said. So, Father, fill my mouth and my heart with the prayer and the words in Jesus' name. She carababase korobobobose karabasta. She carababasta karabasta bababasta. And for you, who, let me put it this way, if you got 10, 10 million, this is, remember this today is not about money, but I'm dealing with the issue that the Lord told me to deal with. But so I just want to let you know this. For example, if a person has 10 million, what God is saying. He's not telling you to become money minded. He's not telling you to let your heart seek. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that there's a thief. That if you have 10, you should, you should have 100. But there's a thief that has stolen your balance to that. And some people are, you know. So what God is saying is that whether we like it or not, he's restoring to us the years that the locust, the caterpillar, and the palm worm have eaten. He's restoring because he saw the thief himself. And he's restoring these years that the thief has stolen from us. And we didn't even have any idea or wasn't even aware that the enemy actually stolen from us. That's what God is dealing with. The restoration of what the adversary has stolen. So, right. Robababasa karabasta bobobosti. She carababasi, corobobosi, carababasi. 
Shikiri baba baba se koro bobo bobo se kara baba baba se kara baba baba se kara baba baba se kara baba baba se shikoro bobo bobo se kara basta la la basta bobo bobo se shikara baba baba se koro bobo se kara basta rama mama mama se ta koro mama se ta koro mama se ta shikara baba baba se koro bobo bobo se shikara baba baba se koro bobo bobo se kara baba baba se shikara baba baba se koro bobo bobo se kara baba baba se kara baba baba se kara baba baba se Shikoro bo 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 se kara ba 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 se koro bo 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 se kara ba 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 se heya kara ba se heya kara ba se heya ra ba 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 se koro bo 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 se kara ba 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 se heya shikoro bo 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 se kara ba sta la la ba sta shikara ba 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 se initially the Lord uh you know as he started this out with also myself you know like singing and stuff but he being led by the Holy Spirit, I'm just doing, you know, w what the Lord is leading me to do daily. Sometimes the heart, He pushes on your, a button on your heart and tell you to sing now, or to, you know, to bring a, you know, to sing something specific or to just sing. He He pushes it. And normally, if I don't get the little push, I don't step out, unless He guides me. So yes, uh. What's going on is that um, the Lord's been showing me is that yes, we prayed generational curses. Bef um, sorry, we we prayed breaking generational curses, not praying generational curses. We prayed breaking generational curses before. Correction, and what the Lord is saying here is that there's a root to this thing. There's a root to this poverty. There's a root to the lack. It, it, it's rooted way back. You know, the lack is is, is 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 a root. It's a root. Yes, we prayed and we struck it, but the enemy is trying to play stubborn. You know, as I said previously that yesterday I heard the Lord spoke so strict I was like, What? The Lord said it finishes now. You know. The Lord doesn't like it when you see his children crying out and can't pay the bills. Normally that person would probably wake up three, uh, fellowship with the Lord three or four hours a day and suddenly the enemy is bringing death and all kinds of things and that person that would normally spend prayer time in the Lord's presence has now be, been overwhelmed with fear and stress and worry and they, they hardly pray, they hardly focus. You really think that's what Father God wants? No, that's why he's addressing the problems and that's why he's fixing it because he wants all of our full attention and focus on him. So, you know, generational. Some of our forefathers, forefathers have done things, you know, as you read the Old Testament, that our parents, parents didn't know, but it's rooted from way back, being involved in all kinds of idolatry and witchcraft and, and, and um, you know, demonic sacrifices and, and animal different strange things and poverty you might find that you've got a family member in another country who is struggling and suddenly a few years after you start is you start struggling too it's like this thing is being passed on so the Lord says to hit it at the root again so here we go so, Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence, Lord. Let your fire fall here, Holy Spirit. Let your fire fall. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you please put your complete arm upon each and every one of us, our family members, seed on our bloodlines, Lord. May your complete armor cover us coming in and going out, Lord. Keep us and shield us and our possessions and everything we have and possess. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for your perfect head and shield. Seven layer shield of protection that cannot be penetrated or perforated in Jesus name so father in the name of Jesus I take authority and father where are great forefathers forefathers grandparents or parents or bloodlines relatives spouses father where Lord God Almighty they have been involved in some kind of demonic activity 
Lord, that you have warned us in your word to don't get involved in, Father, that has caused the curse of poverty, lack, and insufficiency, Father. Father, where they have been involved in demonic movements, worships of Baal, consulting mediums, consulting palm readers, consulting witches or warlocks, Father God, consulting those who promise temporary riches, Lord God Almighty. And Father, we pray right now at the root of this poverty, Father God Almighty. We, we pray right now at the root of it, Father. And where, Father God, we have badly stewarded money, misused money, taken money from organizations, the wrong organizations, demonic organizations like lodges, tribunals. Father, in the name of Jesus, we repent for the sins of our fathers and our forefathers. We repent, Father God, at the root and the seed, Father. That which I mentioned and that which is unmentioned. We, we repent now, Father, in agreement with Matthew 18, 19, Lord, for all that they have done, Father God, knowing to us an unknown, Lord. We repent for, the sin, for these sins that has caused a curse of debt and a curse of poverty to come, Lord God Almighty, on each and every one of our bloodlines, Father God Almighty. Father, Lord, we bind the principality of Baal, fight on spirit, the spirit of Lach, Levitan, and all other spirits connected to death. Father, we ask in the name and in the will of Jesus, Father God Almighty, that you will go all the way down right now, Holy Spirit, into the root cause, Father God. Father, where we might be seeing in our bloodlines inconsistency in finances and people constantly borrowing and getting into debt, Lord God Almighty. Father, where the enemy has used this trick and strategy and tactic to discourage, to hinder, to block, to obstruct. To distract your children with worry and stress and fear, O oh God Almighty, of surviving from one day to another. Father, where bills are coming in, Father God, unpaid. When you have said there's oil in the house, there's blessing in the house, that you provide all of our needs through your riches and glory. And still, Father God, your children are not seeing the physical manifestation in every area of their lives. Father God, even in terms of healings. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind these principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, wicked spirits in high places, Father, that has been coming up and down our bloodlines and moving as they please and bringing and inflicting us with poverty and lack and insufficiency, Father God. And trying to bring our names to debtors, to bring shame and embarrassment. These demonic spirits, Father, that's been attached to our bloodlines all these years. Father, we bind them now. We render them powerless and ineffective, Father. We decree and declare each and every one of them. Lord, all of them now are bound. Including binding their, binding their heads, bow. Binding the strong men first. Lord, we command them now to be removed permanently forevermore and their core hurts. We command them now to be removed, to be beheaded, to be cast down, to be cast out, to be uprooted from their diabolical assignments and to come forth no more forevermore, nor even try, nor attempt through any other way or source again forevermore in Jesus' name. We command these demonic spirits to leave now and be cast into outer darkness. Return no more, henceforth and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Nor send no one in your place. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority through the blood of Jesus and we break every curse, Father God, that's been spoken over our families and our bloodlines, forefathers. All the way up to our generation, Lord. We break every curse, Father God Almighty. 
that our family members and loved ones and even spouses have been involved in, Father God. We break these curses off of our lives, our families, our bloodlines, and our loved ones, Lord. We break these curses now through the blood of Jesus permanently and forevermore. And we decree and we declare, Father, who you bless, let no man curse. We decree and we declare, Father, that we can never ever be cursed again, Father God, because you have blessed us. So, Father, we ask, Father God, in the name and in the will of Jesus, Holy Father God Almighty, that you will transform and connect and reconnect our financial prosperity DNA in the spirit realm. You will reconnect us, Father God. To Philippians 4.19, Father God, you will reconnect us, Father God, to the main pump of your blessing, God Almighty. And that nothing will by any means be able to stop us from receiving that. Father, we believe in faith now that this is done, Holy Father, God Almighty. That the demonic spirits are bound and cast away from their assignments. And that all the curses that's been spoken over us even up until today have been broken. And we are free from the curses of lack and debt and insufficiency and not having enough and poverty in Jesus name. Now Abba Father now that you have done this we ask you Father that you will open the heavens right now above each and every one of us and our bloodlines Father and what the enemy have stolen you will restore to us sevenfold right now Father that we will see the fullness of this blessing Father God right now manifested. Father, we take authority over every bill, every threat that the debtors are sending in the post, and we decree and declare as children of the Most High God, no shame will come upon our doors. No one can take us to court, Lord God Almighty. You even said, let no man take the righteous to court. No person, Father God Almighty, will bring affliction to our doors, Father God Almighty, because we came to the highest court. We came to the highest court of heaven where our Abba Daddy resides and you have given us the victory and the go ahead. So Father, we decree and we declare every threat by death towards which is a curse spoken over our families and bloodlines are broken, backfired. Reverse, cancel off of our lives. Where debtors have spoken a curse, we break the curse of debtors from off of our lives, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father, the parable. In, the, in your word, Lord God Almighty, when this man came to you, Lord, and cried out, forgive him of the 10,000 10, talents that he owed you, Lord God. And still he went outside, Lord God, and, chast, and chastised a man who, 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 who owed him money. Father, it's even written in Proverbs that if a man don't have anything to repair, why should you take his bed? So, Father... This is your word, your righteous Father. And we decree and declare in the name and in the will of Jesus, Father God Almighty, that every person here who's been going through this insufficiency of lack and poverty and struggle and living hand to mouth, the curse is broken at the seed and at the root. And when a tree is pulled out by the root, that root is dead. And Father, we decree and declare that the heads of this giant now are cut off. The giants are dead and they have no life and they cannot come forth ever, ever, ever again in our lives or in our path, in our walk, Father God, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask now, Lord, that you will remove every irregular cycle, financial cycle that we've been facing, Father. That you will remove the cycle right now, Father, the bad cycle, Lord God Almighty. You will remove it now, Father God, and you will connect us into the correct cycle of the flow of your blessing. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, where the debtors have sent letters to people's homes, Lord, that their systems will now say this person's debt is paid in full and no more communication contact will come forth from these debtors. Father, we decree and declare now as you have instructed me, Lord, checks coming in the mail, Father God. Th Things happening supernaturally. Things supernaturally disappearing, Father God. Finances supernaturally being blotted out, Holy Father God Almighty. Things that were connected to debt suddenly being erased, Father God, with no trace or no history, God. Because only you alone can remove the problem and remove the history. So, Father, we decree and declare that the history now of anything connected to debt or financial is re 
bad history is removed now by the seed and at the root. And there's nothing connecting any of us to any debt. There's no proof. There's no evidence. Because you, Father, have supernaturally erased it. Your word says that the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. And you've given us dominion over the works of your hands. So, God, you can do as you please, Father, with that that's yours. It all belongs to you, Jesus. We're only stewards and managers. So, Father, we thank you for forgiving us for a bad stewardship and a bad management, Lord God Almighty. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise, Father. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for abundance instead of decrease. Increase instead of minus. Lord, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, for cleansing and per cleansing and purging our bloodlines with the blood of Jesus now and reconnecting everything that was out of order in straight line with your correct will and purpose for our lives financially Lord God Almighty as you have spoken so father in the name and in the will of Jesus Lord God Almighty we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the deliverance this day. We thank you for setting us free, Lord. We thank you for this word, Father God, because your word says that you sent your word and healed them. So you send your word, Lord God Almighty. And when you send your word, healing takes place. So, Father, we thank you that our finances have been healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Finances be totally healed and made totally whole. In Jesus' name, forevermore. So, Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father God Almighty. And, Father, we thank you right now that there are going to be supernatural surprises in our bank accounts. And however you choose to do it, it is up to you, Father. But we believe it and we receive it and we come in agreement, Father God. And Lord Jesus, we silence, we silence in the name of Jesus right now, any spirit operating behind a person, Lord God Almighty, who doesn't agree with you prospering your children, Father. That is the opposite to your word, Lord God Almighty. We silence that spirit right now operating behind that person and we command that, that evil spirit right now to be still and be cast out now at the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Utter not against God's decision, not God's people. And we declare, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me. So, Father, we thank you that your word is established. And we thank you, Father God, that the things of God are yes and amen. So we say, Father, yes and amen for sending your word and delivering us, Lord God Almighty, and blessing us, Father God Almighty, and healing us, healing us in whole and not in part, Jesus, healing us. So, Father, now we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we exalt you, Jesus, we adore you. We magnify your name. God, you are faithful, Father God. You, Father, your eyes are tending tending to every aspect and every area of our lives, Father God Almighty. You care about every area of our lives. You're concerned with our living, Lord, and what goes on in our lives. And we thank you, God Almighty, because this is a se season of deliverance, purpose, prosperity. And Lord, we thank you, God. The number 13 means wholeness. And all of these things you're doing, Jesus, is bringing us to the full wholeness in you, Lord God Almighty. So, Father, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise, Holy Father God. We lift up your name and we bless your name. We adore you, Jesus, for who is like unto thee, God? Who can compare to thee, Lord God Almighty? Who can compare to thee? So, Father, we thank you, Jeremiah 1.12, for watching your word to perform it, Isaiah 55.11, that the word that goeth forth out of your mouth will not return unto thee void, but it will accomplish that which you sent it to. Lord God, we thank you, Jesus. Psalm 89.34, you will not break your covenant nor alter the thing that's gone out of your lips. Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that it is done, it is yes, and it is amen, Father God. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Be established. Lord, I've just given three witnesses, more than probably four Bible verses, which are witnesses. So, Father, we thank you also, Lord of God Almighty, Philippians 4.19, for providing all of our needs through your riches and glory. Psalm 23, 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 37.25, I was young and I was old, 
Sorry, I was young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Father, we thank you, Lord, again in the mouth of three witnesses. Let every word be established. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, Lord, for shielding and protecting your word, Lord, and watching your word to perform it, Lord. We thank you, Father God Almighty, that your word, nothing can come against your word. The enemy can't come against your word, Lord God Almighty. We declare that your word is yes and amen, and your word hath gone forth out of your mouth and you're watching it to perform it and it is done it is sealed signed delivered so shall it be and nothing can stop it in jesus name so father we lift up your name we bless and we praise your holy name we give you the glory the honor and the praise and father we thank you we thank you and i ask every person here whether you have or you have or you have not start to thank god start to give the lord a high praise because he's bringing you into the fullness of his plan and purpose for your life if you have 10 he's about to give you a hundred if you have five he's about to give you whatever amount thank god that he has seen that the thief has stolen from you where you thought that you were comfortable god is saying no the thief has stolen from you and in god's heart the Lord is, is, is gets, you know, he gets serious when the enemy steals from his children. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. So I, I would advise every person to, to start to give Jesus a high praise. Start to give him glory and honor. You know, start to give him glory, honor, and praise. Give him glory, honor, and praise. You see, have you noticed something that there's some people who've been seeking the Lord for many years and still they're not in that call he have called them for their lives or still they haven't heard what God has been speaking, but still they're seeking God. When we seek God, we need to have our eyes open, our ears open and our heart open to instruction and to do the things that he's telling us to do. We don't seek the Lord with all our heart in, in, in the way that religion says to do. You know, we have to have our eyes open, our ears and our heart, you know, because religion, religion tends to seek God in, in, in a different way that, that we should, that we are meant to seek God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, you know, because God gives instruction, God gives solutions, God gives, you know, as you, as you in his present, he tells you things because he can see what's going on around you, how to deal with issues and stuff, you know, but religion has, has, has put this thing in people's mind and their hearts that they that they, they just got this thing, you know, that, um, uh, before when I saw pastors on TV, back then preaching prosperity, I would be one years back who would open my mouth and talk stuff and in everything, I always say to people, be led by the Holy Spirit, let the Spirit of God guide your heart romans 8 14 says those who are led by the spirit are the sons of god so be led by the holy spirit there's some people who have got an anointing to teach about finance that's what god anointed them to do you flick the other channel someone's talking about salvation you flick the other channel someone's talking about deliverance you flick the other channel so if you study it carefully look at the channels each person is playing their part each person is playing their part all to the glory of God, you see. So, um, you know, we, 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 we need to see Jesus as a relationship and understand when you fellowship with Jesus, how Jesus is and understand really who Jesus is, you know, and don't put limits, limits on God and, 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 and you know, be open to the things of God. Think of it. Why did the Lord say childlike faith? Don't you know that a child believes anything? If you tell a two-year-old child a bicycle is a car, he say, okay, car. He start to call the bicycle a car. Childlike faith. Children believe what you say. So our childlike faith is in the Father is that we need to trust him and understand. He's not going to give us a, a, a snake when we ask for fish or stone when we ask for bread. Our childlike faith is to trust his word and to just trust it and stop thinking and and. and, and kind of reasoning and working things out and casting judgments because often the, the the bible says be fast to listen and slow to speak so often we see something then we just open our mouths and we and we say it's the holy spirit when it's not the holy spirit 
that's the fleshy man that's the mind part that's that's the that's the emotions part that that don't like something and is speaking against us be fast to listen slow to speak you see so we 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 we, we take it inside and we digest the things of the holy you know digest it with the holy spirit and then the lord will give us an answer or or or, or what to if we need to speak or say anything about it you know so um we need to that's the point the Lord is taking us into a maturity into who he is remember for the third time now I say be fast to listen slow to speak often people who are fast to speak they're speaking out of their flesh yes we can be connected in the spirit of course that is it's just flowing like that that's true but um you know hallelujah it is written let God be true and every man a liar praise the Lord see as I was telling you about the British weather yesterday it was nice and stuff in a few days and now it's raining again but Lord I thank you for the weather because the weather has its purpose and for those of you who have been to the UK you know as you as the plane is coming over the UK the earth looks so green like you've never seen green like that before man it looks very green very very green from all the water and all the rain and, and everything but yes so God bless you indeed brothers and sisters I pray that uh, this video will put you in the position of expectation and knowing and, and boldness and courage not caring what your neighbor says because if God says it is it is so And to learn to di discern if something is a distraction or if, if God is pulling you in a direction and something is saying, oh, I don't believe in that. Well, you you need to ask the Lord if to cut that thing short because, you know, you're, 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 you're focusing on something. Now, God is doing a good work in your life and you don't want no one to contaminate it. So we need to keep asking the Lord for discerning of spirits that we know who to hang around and who to don't hang around. Because people have this thing because we're Christians. That we should just go and put ourselves in situations and, oh, yes, yeah, just go and, can I say something? There are times that the Lord will tell you, shift people, avoid these people. Because he sees and he knows what their motive is. And often you get Christians just going out there, oh, you know, having any, oh, but you is that love or is that stupidity? You know, go and tangle themselves in all kinds of stuff and get all kinds of things going into the spirit and, they, and, and they're saying that's love. Is that love or is it being naive or is it being stupidity or is it being, you know, as the Bible says, more or less like ignorance? Because again, it says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. So we need to know when the Lord has put something on our hearts and we're walking in right standing with the Lord and we're focused on that thing. And you know the channel that the Lord blesses you. Don't let nobody speak over that thing. Don't receive it. You know, don't receive it. And then you start to listen to what they say and it pulls you in other directions and you, you've gone all over the place and you miss what God is doing because you need to understand how spirits speak. Often the Lord will speak to us and it sounds like our own voice and the enemy tries to counterfeit. He tries. He tries to mimic your voice too. But you need to understand that in saying that what I'm trying to say when someone is talking, you are hearing their voice. But you need to discern the spirit that's behind their voice. You can just talk to them and just hear the spirit that's actually behind their voice. Is it the spirit of fear? Is it the spirit of worry? Is it the spirit? That's how you can discern what spirits is operating behind that person. So, um, you know, I'm just telling you this to stay focused because we need to understand the things of God. We need to be wise all of us and are maturing in God and the Lord is putting that on my heart to maturity we bringing us to maturity in him as the bride is being prepared you know as a bride is being prepared you know what I mean so um, I pray this this message will bless you um, it will shed some light and some more insights into certain things in life that we have faced and will give us um, a deeper revelation and knowledge in Christ Jesus. 
because uh, me and normally tell people only the only the Holy Spirit can save people I can't save them neither you Jesus is the Savior he's the only Savior so sometimes to even in evangelism we need to ask the Lord should I speak to this person or not this person that's why I believe sometimes Christians do things yes the Lord is with them but sometimes they they just rush out like that and sometimes some things happen that shouldn't have happened because they don't seek the Lord first. They don't listen to his voice. For many reasons, some religions have taught people that the Holy Spirit, you don't need the Holy Spirit. You don't need this, you don't need that and, and has taught people in a way that's wrong, you know. And think of it, if a person's been in religion for 30 years or, or 10 years, a long period of time. Man you know what I mean that's that's a lot of it takes them time to, to, to get you know to, to work with the Holy Spirit to get these cards untangled because that thing's been 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 woven into their hearts and been you know sewn into their minds for years and years and years so now they see things different it is it's like a way of adapting to something different that becomes hard for many people who have been in under religious system so yes, Jesus says, seek him and you'll find him. Seek the Lord for yourself. Have a relationship with the Lord and you'll see he's not. See how the Lord is. I was reading something the other day where Paul was saying about the simplicity of Jesus. Notice the word simplicity. We don't understand, you know. We're not talking about God not being a, Lord, a God of order and stuff. That's not what we're talking about, his simplicity. Religion has made people feel Christian life is hard. Oh, ah, it's so hard. But it's it's not. That's that's the way religion. That's why Jesus challenged the religious leaders so much, in it? The Pharisees and, 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 and the Sadducees and the and the you know, he, he challenged the religious leaders so much. Because it's like, oh, you need to be upright. You need to be before God can bless you. You need to be. The Bible said that he causes it to rain on the just and the unjust. So if you ask yourself a question, what have the unjust done to deserve it? But God still blesses them. Is it because of their works? No. Because they're doing whatever they want out into the world. And the car and the house they have is God who's giving them. But for some reason, people in Christ... They think that they need to do all of this heavy, strenuous work. The Bible says that God has already given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. He's blessed us. It's like someone give you a ball and you need to extract this, the inside, the inner of the ball. Now you have to extract it, but he's given us everything. And it's not about our works. It's not about works or how much we can do to please God and to get a blessing and and how much that's foolishness. That's just that's just nonsense. It's just wrong. You know, it's just wrong. So, anyhow, God bless you indeed. And I pray the peace of God be with you always. And remember love. Stay in love, brothers and sisters. Stay in love. But be wise also in love. Be wise in love. Be wise in love. And, uh, you know, be always forgiving and loving towards your neighbor. And love, your love the Lord thy God with all your heart. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. There's a power in love. And a power in forgiveness. So, have a beautiful Saturday today. God bless you indeed. And signing out. Shalom.